Hi, my fourth grade friends. This is Miss Jones again, your social studies science teacher. I want to do a real quick review of what we're learning in social studies. We only have two Native American tribes left to discuss in California. There are 116 Native American tribes in California, but we're only talking about one from each particular region. So that is a lot of Native Americans in California, considering the whole United States has 504 and there are 116 in California, that's a lot. So you should have made a map of California that looks like this, and you should have already identified the Chumash that we already did and the Kauia Indians that we already did. The Chumash are along the coast, the Kauia are out in the desert. Today we're gonna to talk about the Hoopa and then we'll end with the Miwok because the Miwok are the tribe that is closest to us. So we're gonna to talk to today about the Hoopa tribe. You should have made yourself a chart that looks just like this. So we're gonna fill in the Hoopa and then we'll fill in the Miwok and then our chart will be complete. So make sure that you have made that chart because it is part of your grade. So the Hoopa tribe lives in the mountain areas of California. I made a little blunder because I put coast, but it kind of is the coast and the mountains because we know if we look at the map of California that the mountain range goes all the way along the coast. This. These are called the coastal range of California. And the Hoopa lived up here in the very far north part of California, between California and the Oregon border, along the coast and in the mountains. Okay, so they do have part of the coast and part of the mountains. So the Hoopa Indians were in the northern region, they ate deer, fish, and acorns. Acorn seems to be a number one theme with California Native American tribes because they seem to be in every one that we've had so far. So they are obviously the deer because they're up in the mountains, just like where we live, we get deer. And fish, all kinds of fish, salmon, sturgeon, trout, probably anything that they could find that was in the waterways as well as in the ocean. They might have even eaten things from the ocean, fish and shellfish and that kind of stuff too. Okay, they lived in long houses that were made of redwood planks and they were rectangular and they were great basket weavers. So in our chart today, we are going to add these characteristics of the Hoopa tribe. Okay, so they lived in the mountains. Okay. Mountains. They ate deer, acorns, and fish. And remember, at any time, if you need to stop the video so that you can write these down, you know you're welcome to, to start it up again, okay? Their homes were rectangular, plank houses, And their custom and tradition was basket weaving. Okay. They made beautiful baskets to carry the things that they needed to. They were a peaceful tribe. They were a quiet tribe. They didn't really get in any kind of altercations. They just wanted to live happily amongst the trees and near the water so that they could continue on. They made beautiful, not only long houses out of redwood planks, but they took the big redwood trees and made gigantic canoes so they could maneuver through the water as well. There is a beautiful video to watch next that has to do with having 
the um, it's just pictures to show you of their homes and where they lived and just the area where you would find the beautiful Hoopa Indians of California. I know this wasn't a very long video, but next time when we meet, the video will be a little bit longer about the Miwoks because we are also going to go on a field trip. So let's finish up for today. Happy learning, and I will see you again on Wednesday.